Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode four of Sky Factory Three. Hey! And in last episode, we got our cobble generator made, and today we want to go beyond that, I guess. <laughs> so let's go see what we can do today. Oh man, that music is so loud. It's down to five. You know, I really wonder if this would help. No. Oh my goodness. I'm just all about hitting the wrong buttons. Okay, let's try that again. Let's just bring this one down to there. Maybe that'll help. Um, anyway, in preparation for today's episode, I did a lot of hammering pew, 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 of uh, the cobble. Yeah, this uh, <laughs> this has been going for quite a while. You don't think that one every 40 ticks is a lot, but you know what adds up. <laughs> um, yeah, and we had another Mondo tree grow. Look at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I also uh, made some more dirt. I chopped some trees. Uh, let's see. I got an extra stack of dirt in here. Some extra shears. <laughs> and over here I have all of the things that uh, I sifted. And I have some more things ready to be sifted. I wanted to sift some dirt in the the flint mesh, the flint hardened mesh, which we now have enough uh, doohickeys for. There we go. We just need to grab all the flint, well not all of the flint, some string, and we need to make these uh, eight meshes. Boink, boink, boink. There we go. Doot, doot, doot. I love how it puts it into the chest before it puts it into your inventory. I think that's kind of cool. Um, let's go ahead and throw some of this stuff in there. Um, yeah, and we'll put some of these over here. <laughs> I feel like my inventory is cluttered. Sometimes um, I love watching other, you know, YouTubers play Minecraft, but sometimes it just drives me wonky. They keep all this stuff floating around in their inventory. I'm like, clean that stuff up. <laughs> Put it in a chest. <laughs> you got plenty of wood. Come on. <laughs> Yes, I talked to the YouTubes. Awesome! So now we have flint stiffened mesh and that should help us get uh, some different materials. Oh, and I made a stack of sand just so we could say that um, <laughs> we harvested some sand. Well, sifted. And this is going to get us different things like uh, coal and lapis like that. I don't think it's getting us any different uh, ores but this will help us um, now that we we can get some coal we can you know get some uh, power because uh, we can use the coal for power not that we couldn't use the 
charcoal for power, but this is sort of like a passive income where we don't we do it and we just get stuff anyway. I did smelt up a teeny bit of iron um, over here. Doinkies! Uh, just so because I wanted to expand the island but I didn't want to do uh, just cobble and we could make one of those groovy little chisels just takes a stick and a bit of iron like this now these do wear out in in this version which is a shame but it's it's not very expensive to make them so it's kind of cool so here we go uh, <laughs> I I hammered a ton of cobble and I think um, I have to say that one of the first things I want to do is make something where I don't have to hammer cobble anymore <laughs> uh, yeah cuz it it's a little bit I, I went ahead and extended the the island out over in this section uh, and that one just to give me some extra room to uh, place blocks down <laughs> to to break them with the hammer uh, because there there was a lot of hammering going on I was getting hammered there so so now um, we need to get all of uh, these put into iron meshes that's gonna be another goal because we can't get to redstone until we get iron mesh um, oh look there's some copper and some more iron oh that is sweet um, so let's see, we need a total of 32 iron, and aside from that uh, two that I just did there, let's see, we can boop, boop. So we need another set of another 64 iron. Oh, we don't want to do that one. Let, we, we like coal and we got plenty of flint. Uh, we still have 24. That's enough to repair all our tools and stuff if we need it. And this is cool. Uh, I don't know if there's a inventory tweak mod on here, but I know if you uh, middle click into a chest anywhere, it sorts it, but it does it numerically. If you see this is 58, 49, 43, 34, 27, 26, it goes down. Uh, so the thing you have the least of is going at the end. I think that's that's kind of cool. It's some type of sorting. So yeah, we're gonna have to uh, get some more iron so we can make our iron mesh I think <laughs> uh, yeah I, I just love I love Minecraft I love playing Minecraft I love watching Minecraft on YouTube so um, if you know anybody who's got a, a YouTube channel that needs some some views <laughs> I can do that um, I love watching the the smaller channels too I think um, you know you don't I don't I don't know how to explain it but just because you don't um, you know you aren't good at advertising doesn't mean you're not good at playing Minecraft <laughs> Um, and mainly views are people who are better at uh, 
marketing, I guess, marketing their, their channel and they know people. Um, I don't know. <laughs> so let's see our, we, we got our goal of the Flint Stiffen Mesh. Um, I want to save this dust to uh, sift in the iron one because that's uh, the only way we can get redstone is through iron mesh. So if I make dust, I'm going to want to uh, do that on the iron. And wow, I really love how they um, consolidated all of the, the orbits. I love it. Um, it makes it a little bit, I don't know, less messy. Um, you have all of the things stacking now. <laughs> oh, look, we got two cactus and two cocoa beans from those, uh, from that sand. So that's kind of cool, but we don't have any uh, jungle wood. Oh, I guess we do because we have all these seeds over here so we could uh, dark oak there's the jungle seeds uh, we could get jungle seeds going um, now that I have a stack of, of dirt over here to be sifted and I wanted to sift it in in this uh, flint mesh because there's supposed to be different seeds here and I'm hoping that <laughs> with one stack we can get all the different seeds that um, we need to from this dirt. Oh look that's what I was hoping for was the, the trees there. Look at that. We got five of those saplings. Um, this is a mod I've never played with before. There we go. Oh my goodness. Look at what is all this stone? Holy schmoly. <laughs> um, Let's get that iron. That's half of the iron that we need right there. Well, I guess um, I guess we can put it over here. So really, we only need one more iron for this. Um, um you know what? I bet we could. Look, 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 we got iron right here. We could go ahead and do that up. Just takes a couple of sticks. There we go. Um, let's let's go ahead and oh, this is granite. This is granite. That's kind of cool. And diorite. And a site. Some more stone. That is kind of cool. Um, takes up a lot of room, but <laughs> uh, okie dokie. Let's see. There we go. That cleared up some of the room. We got uh, canola seeds, more grass seeds, uh, rice seed, flax seed, some more carrots, more sugar cane beetroot seeds, potato, coffee, and pumpkin. Plus we got some uh, little bits over here. There we go. And we got these mineral saplings which uh, is kind of cool. Uh, this is part of integrated dynamics. We're supposed to grow these trees and um, I think we had we had a book. Uh, here it is. On the dynamics of integration. Uh, <laughs> so we have the introduction and tutorials. Um, I've never even heard of this. Uh, uh, for too long, auto I, I loved how it had the sort of 3D paper turning 
like it started in the left headset and then finished in the right. Uh, I know you can't hear that, but it was cool. <laughs> For too long, automation possibilities have been too limited. Integrated Dynamics aims to be the go-to mod for automating your logic systems. It does this by providing an expressive, immersive logic programming experience with hooks and supports for most elements of Minecraft and its modifications. Redstone circuits have always been a very basic but workable and easily understandable method for automation. The basicness of redstone is, however, also an inconvenience. For automation networks with higher complexities, redstone circuits can become very large and consequently, blah, 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 and consequently also difficult to manage. Furthermore, one small water leak can cause major headaches to every redstoner. Oh my goodness, I know that. <laughs> the goal of this book is twofold. First, a tutorial is provided for learning the most important concepts behind this mod. Secondly, a detailed manual of all elements and mechanisms are explained for players that are not interested that are not not interested in the tutorial. I think that's just uh <laughs> went too many knots. It was a typo there. Uh, you can navigate through this book by clicking on the arrows at the bottom. Shift clicking will flip through whole sections instead of single pages. At the start of large sections, you will see a content table which will contain hyperlinks to its subsections for faster browsing. When you come across recipes, the items that are explained in this book are clickable as a fast reference to the section they are explained in. You will also notice a button at the top left of this book, uh, which will take you to the section above your current one. The button at the top right corner will go back to the previously visited page each time when clicked. Awesome! <laughs> so, um, this, though, that took us to the tutorial section. Sweet! So, I have no idea about this mod, but I, I'm, I'm interested. <laughs> uh, I love automation. So, uh, I'll probably do some reading on this. Um, you're supposed to... Uh, this part of the book contains several tutorials that will help you understand the basics of the mod. Furthermore, it will allow you to earn some rewards while accomplishing the achievements of each tutorial. Ooh, I like me some rewards! To get started with this mod, you will need to find some mineral trees, which can most easily be found in Meneglin biomes. Okay, we don't have that because we're in a skyblock, but they made it drop from the dirt. So, uh, we have us now some mineral trees. After that, you'll need to craft a squeezer and drying basin for processing mineral logs. Uh, whew, we don't know about that. Um, this can be done by placing a log in the squeezer and jumping on it until the log is flat. Oh my god! <laughs> you gotta jump on it? Oh, that is so cool. Uh, once that has been done, the mineral resin will try to go to the two sides of the squeezer. Next, place a drying basin next to the squeezer to make it fill with the mineral resin you just squeezed. If you want to repeat the process, you can reset the squeezer by applying a redstone pulse. Oh my goodness. Uh, well, first things first, I want to check out these trees. I know, I'm, I, I can't really do it. Why is this... I've used this axe. Um, that is weird. Is it... It's not like... Um, doing anything. Okay. We're just gonna chop these guys down. And... Oh, I already have the saplings over here. I like them. They're pretty blue. Like a blue-green. Um, I don't know. Oh, I have some shears. We can get rid of these, uh, or can I just do it with my hand? 
Awesome. Oh, that is sweet. Okay. So now we have these little blue trees. Um, I wonder. Oh, let's let's see. Can we twerk them? Yeah. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is sweet looking. And it grew out even though it only had one uh one block to grow on. <laughs> um, uh, now I know uh, this said we needed to I love how that tree looks that is awesome um, I don't want to get into a mod yet uh, that what I'm trying to say is my main goal is to first get um, items incoming which I think should be Um, I think I should try to get an auto hammer or something let's see what does this take that takes two diamonds what if um, what if we do a sag mill this doesn't take diamonds but it does take a lot more iron Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus six, so fifteen iron, and we have to have the redstone. Uh, so, yeah, we could get a sag mill that would uh, process our cobble for us. Because look, we're getting full on this chest now. Um, put that in there oh, the, I, I, I can't I'm like speechless if I have to jump on the squeezer to squeeze it that is so awesome I'm just floored anyway let's um let's go ahead and let's do our mesh because we're gonna need redstone in order to do anything really so uh, let's get our string. Oh, I guess I can just do it like this. Boink, 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 boink. And there we go. We have iron mesh. That is awesome. there now <laughs> we can do this dust up I've been all oh, redstone oh there we go there's some redstone it's like it doesn't want to come into my inventory or something or it's uh, jumping out a different way from the sieves I don't know Uh, but this should still get us plenty of stuff. There we go. Oh, five. Five redstone out of two. I'm going to put the redstone over there. Look at all the things. Oh look, we got more iron, some lead. I know there uh there'll be a way to eventually double this ore, but for right now we just need we need some some things coming in. Wait. Uh, okay, that was iron. Whew. Uh, the iron is supposed to be the most common. It's supposed to have like a 20% chance of dropping and the other ores are like 5. So you should get uh, tons of iron. Awesome. So 
We have our iron mesh. We got a couple of redstone. Um, the thing about the sag mill, if we make this, that's going to use three of the redstone, two here, and then one for the piston. Um, but then we also need a power supply and I'm thinking the easiest one would be um, the Ender IO Sterling Generator which would also take uh, oh that would only take one I don't know, I thought that was more complicated. We could totally do this. Because uh, that just takes a piston, some basic gears, which uh, just are sticks and stones, and a furnace, and some stone bricks, which we can totally do that. So let's just, um, let's just go cook up some of this. Oh, we got the... Okay. <laughs> well, we got some extra stuff. I think um, I think we'll go ahead and call this episode here. Um, we'll get to a power supply and smashing things automatically next episode. <laughs> so, but we did accomplish getting all of our meshes upgraded. And this opens up more... Uh, variety of materials to us which is good so maybe I'll do some smashing off camera get some dust to put through there to build up some more redstone um, yeah just do some manual smashing and that will help us uh, get established with some automation in the next episode plus I need to I need to expand to the things somewhere because there really isn't a lot of room and I've sort of just jumbled everything together over here I don't like this I want to move some of this stuff out oh good this is done okay I'll prepare some more for next episode uh, and do some more smashing some more sizzling and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.